Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about saying no and why saying no is sometimes the best response you can ever give somebody. So when I was a new nurse, I was not used to saying no. I would pretty much say yes to everything and then a lot of times I would pay for it later. Saying yes a lot of times meant saying yes to um, an extra four hours, which would turn a 12 hour shift into a 16 hour shift. Saying yes also meant coming in extra. Saying yes also meant taking on more patients than other people because I couldn't say no even if I was also behind. Until one day I thought about something. I said, you know, every time I say yes, I'm actually saying no to something else. So in the event that I'm working an extra four hours, I'm actually saying no to my family or no to my husband. And when I thought about it like that, it didn't feel feel right to say no to my husband. No, I won't see you tonight because I'm going to work an extra four hours and work a 16 hour shift. Or if I'm saying no, if I'm saying yes to an extra shift, I'm saying no to anything else that I was thinking about doing that day, which sometimes I just wanted the extra money. So it was yes all the way around. <laughs> So one thing that you have to be careful of is whenever you are saying yes to something, that it is going to be something that you're going to be able to do in a happy, positive, and timely manner. Because if you say yes to something and then you have a lot of anger and you're doing things out of anger, it's not a good position. So you have to be really careful and when you do say yes to something, that no matter what, you're going to be positive. So one time there was another nurse that was like totally drowning and he asked me if I would take vital signs on his patients and I was like yeah of course sure I was also drowning but you know I figured maybe I'm in a better position than him so what happened was I did his vital signs and then I was doing my vital signs and then later during that day when I was still running around scurrying behind I saw him sitting down and because he'd asked me to do him a favor I was actually like really kind of angry that he was able to sit down and I realized that I had said yes but I didn't do it with a clear positive mind no matter what the outcome was I would be happy so in those situations, sometimes it's better if you just say no, just so you don't have the anger that's like luring. <laughs> And sometimes not, depending on the situation. So you have to kind of like base it off of, you know, the situation. But what I want to ultimately tell you is that we're going to be asked to do all kinds of things. That's just the nature of where we work. Like there's just a lot that needs to be done. So take on things that you know are going to be win, 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 win for you, win for the person asking, and a win for everybody else. So just think about it before you take on anything more to do. All right, guys, I really hope that you like this video. Thank you so much for joining me for Motivation Monday, and I cannot wait to see you next week. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I I promise will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.